was a Barbarian king before he became the immortal hero. For years, no one could stop his reign of terror. But all things must come to an end. Upon his death, he entered the legendary Hall of Judgment to stand before the ancient council. There, the ancestors found him unworthy of entering paradise, so they cast him back among the mortals where... Ah, but I can help myself. You wanted to know how he became king. Ever have a dream you can't quite shake? It's called a vision, and Queen Allison had a nasty one. Her father's soul was torn from paradise and dragged into the underworld. Allison called for a hero to champion her, but only one responded. Tarnos. The Elemental Lords, masters of air, earth, water, and fire, were free to tear the world apart now that a 10,000 year truce had come to an end. Only one with a powerful command over magic could stand a chance against them. So why did the ancestors call on a barbarian who hates magic to save us all? Somewhere in the dark tunnels beneath the earth was the World Tree, the wellspring of life. Tarnum had to find it before the insane ancestor Vor and his minions, the Necromancers, destroyed it. But how does one kill a god? Tarnum's defeat of Vor's allies, the Necromancers, saved the World Tree from destruction. But as long as Vor was still out there, Tarnum's task was far from over. What worried him most was the silence of the ancestors. Had they forsaken him? Or was it something more sinister? Tarnum awoke, chained to the dank wall of an Arathian dungeon, a slave. The Ancestors had sent him here to free the Mudlanders and lead them back to their homeland. His were the first bonds to be broken, but they would certainly not be the last. Immortality has a drawback. Loneliness. But Tarnum found friendship with the long-lived dragons and happiness in the joy they drew from each day. Then, one bleak morning, the dragons disappeared, gone without explanation and it was up to Tarnum to find out why. If Tarnum had known beforehand how things would end, he would not have held back. he would have surrendered his soul completely to his darkest desires. Nothing would have kept him from claiming the Sword of Frost. 